I know what should reside in your heart is empathy, and I don't believe that you have to be trolled and dragged through Twitter and Instagram in order to change your mind and realize that what you said was intolerant and or could be considered insensitive later. If you had been educated and forced to confront the issues and, like I said, had empathy in your heart, then you would have known the black experience is not easy, especially when 70% of your league is African American, and these are the conversations that you should have had. So maybe it's not not his whole heart's bad, but something about empathy was off if the first thing, the first thing out of his mouth was it's disrespectful. I will not tolerate anything that is disrespectful to our nation and the flag. That was the first thing. Now, if he would have came out and said, if he would have said, oh, well, you know, I understand why it happens, and I understand the meaning of protest and why we need it, however, X, Y, Z. But that's not the way it went down in that conversation. And it wasn't a quote in a magazine. It wasn't a quote in a newspaper. And I'm exhausted, and I'm tired of having to listen to someone say something like that and then have to sit back and be like, well, maybe he did it. Maybe it's not his heart, and it's this and it's that. When you reveal yourself to me and you say something like that, and you say it out of a, an tolerant mind and or heart or a non-empathetic heart. And for the last five years, all we've done is see countless deaths in the street. My patience left my body when I watched George Floyd take his last breath. So if that didn't affect you and make you want to reassess the way that you're going to address a question that includes racial injustice in our country after you watch that man die in the middle of the street, something's off. I don't know if it's your heart. I don't know if it's your mind, but I don't accept either of them anymore. I will not tolerate it anymore. And Drew Brees, I will accept your apology, but I don't have to sit here and wonder what is wrong or what is right and guess if you're a good or bad person. I am not the judge and or the jury. All I can do is let you reveal yourself, and countless people are doing that right now. And for the first time ever, they are reaping some kind of consequence that does not have any retaliation for me or the people that are calling them out. For the first time, I feel like I can go on TV and say certain things. For the first time, people feel that they can tweet certain things, and people can be held accountable for the things that they are putting on display in the and I'm not going to apologize for that. Yeah. Drew Brees and everyone else It's not else for Drew Brees to tolerate or not and tolerate. There's a shift in the power dynamic, and he thought he was living in one world, right. and he woke up in another one. It's not for him to tolerate. It's and that so those you tell me, so what does that mean? Are not so tolerated. If, if, if that, but if that world was existing and you felt like you could make those comments, is that not a condemnation of what's on your heart and your mind? If you feel comfortable living in your privilege and being able to say things like that, is that not actually telling me who you are or how you think sometimes? Is that not telling me the conversations it's you're probably revealing. having with the people around you in your community? It is revealing. That is all I'm saying. And I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and candy coat that or walk myself back and be like, well, he did give a lot of money. I don't care. What was on your heart was just revealed through your mouth. That's what happened. Mm. Well, look. Uh, We're going to well, continue listen, this. Let's understand. I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. I know. I know. I, I, I know you got to. I, I know no, you got to no, go, go ahead, Laura. Let me say this. Ain't nobody giving. Ain't nobody giving. Ain't nobody giving Drew Brees a pass, Maria. What I'm saying is, at the end of the day, if you're confronted an abundance of black players, yeah, they called you to the carpet. You got exposed. You revealed yourself. We get all of that. But at the end of the day, where you going? What apology? You can apologize all you want. Maria's going to feel the way she's going to feel. Stephen A's going to feel the way he's going right. to feel. Max going to feel the way he's going to feel. All of us should. And in the end, we got to move forward. I got you. This is what you said. Okay, you apologize. I'm not going to walk around with hate in my heart because you were insensitive, etc. I know. I see. Correct. I got it. But when you engage in condemnation, remember... All of us live in glass houses to some degree, and we got to be careful. You well, can we should welcome somebody, everyone but into the death sentence. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm not give, we no should one's welcome. giving a death sentence. No one's giving a death sentence. I know. I, we I, should I, welcome I everyone I into the coalition, the multiracial coalition of goodwill, if they want to come. We should welcome them, and that includes Drew Brees, in my opinion. While remembering what yeah, he said. Yeah, guys, we're supposed to go to a different co a different topic right here, but I just don't feel right about it. I, I want to ask Maria one more question, so I'm sorry to the producers, but I just want to do this really <laughs> fast. So, Maria, I recently sure. saw a picture on Instagram mm -hmm. that was a picture of an iceberg 
and there was just the tip of the surface there at the top and then you could see the side view so you could see the entire iceberg down in the water and it said this is a picture of racism what we're seeing right now is just only that mm. on the top of the surface that you can see above the water correct what can we continue to do in your mind as you've been so powerful with your words so far today to chip away at that iceberg and to reveal more of it in order to eradicate it you know it's crazy laura my solution actually involves you and i if you know me like the two of us i love laura with all my heart i love her daughter i love her husband we talk about racism we talk about sexism and she empathizes with me and she tells me when she sees something that's wrong and she addresses it with people when she believes it's wrong she talks to someone about it and the only way we're gonna move the meter, if there's more people like Laura Rutledge in the world, or maybe it's your best friend that's sitting at home, that stands up and says, you know what? I understand why Cap is kneeling. I understand what it means. I understand how you feel when you walk into white spaces, Maria. And I understand that that's not fair to you, but I'm here and I'm listening and I wanna do my best to understand because that's what you do. And I need everyone else to, to just take account of who you're speaking to, the conversations that you're having when you sit down with your all white friends or your privileged friends or your rich friends. And I recognize I have a privilege too. I sit in a house that has a pool in the backyard. My parents were married 35 years and I went to college on free scholarship. But I can say that I have a privilege. I'm okay with saying that. I need everyone else to be able to recognize that and be able to reach across racial lines and, and be able to have those conversations and feel comfortable with it. Because you're right, it's just the tip. And that's why I don't take that comment from Drew Brees lightly, because that's just the tip of what could be going on in his mind. I don't know. I only know what he's revealed. I only know the top of the iceberg, because that's what he said out loud. But what does that mean he's saying in private? What does that mean we're all saying in private? But we do have to be careful. I'm not perfect. I'm not the judge and the jury. I'm no one's God. But like I said, I'm exhausted and I'm tired. And the last bit of my patience went out of my body when I watched it go out of George Floyd's. That's it. But again, Laura, I think you're a perfect example of what everyone should be doing, to be honest, and I love you.